Hey everyone, so today I'm here with a tutorial on this look. I was definitely inspired by Homecoming, so I wanted to give you guys something that was super smoky, super sexy, and is going to last you the whole night long. Um, this is good for Homecoming, this is good for any event or a date night. I just wanted to give you guys a nice nighttime fall appropriate look, and I wanted to center it around this beautiful pigment on my eyelids. It's the Insomnia Pigment by Makeup Geek. So before I get into the tutorial, I just want to give you guys a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed recently and to all of my OG subscribers. You guys mean so much to me and I'm just so thankful to have your support. And I let you guys know a while back that once we get to 100, I'm going to have a giveaway. So I'm just really excited because I feel like that's going to happen really soon. And I just want, I'm so anxious to give back to you guys. So I can't wait for that to happen. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and you'll see more in the future. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey guys, okay, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna use the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Pads just to cleanse my face, brighten it up some, and also I'm going to fold it in half and save the rest for later, and you'll see why. Now I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray just to minimize the appearance, oh, okay, <laughs> just to minimize the appearance of my pores and everything like that. And now I'm picking up the Naked Palette and I'm going in with the shade Naked on the Mirabella Blending Brush. And this actually came in the Ipsy bag a couple years ago and I still like use it all the time. I really like it. And so basically I'm just kind of blending that into the crease. It's going to be our first transition. Now I'm using the same brush and I'm picking up the shade Buck and I'm just going to blend that right on top just to kind of deepen up the crease a little more. And of course I'm picking up the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette and that is in the shade Deep Cocoa and I'm taking the Morphe B81 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that in the crease slightly lower just to intensify that darkness and give my eyes some depth. Now I'm just using the same Marabella blending brush and we're just gonna basically blow all of this out and just make sure that it's really blended before we go in with our next shadow. Our star of the show that is the makeup geek insomnia pigment and I just like to give it a little shake before I use it so the pigment falls into that little hole in the cap and not all over me <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my flat shader brush and spray some fix plus on there and I'm gonna start light but basically we're just gonna pack this all over the lid and you don't want to go up too high you kind of want to keep it low underneath our transition shades because once you take this color too high, you're going to start looking a little costumey and a little clownish. We don't want that, so just make sure to keep it low and just start small and start building up and then increase it to whatever intensity you're most comfortable with. the crease a little more and the cool thing about this pigment is once you start blending it out it has that duochrome so then the browns start coming out and so it just starts looking even more pretty and I can't tell you how happy I am with this purchase and this pigment 
It's my first Makeup Geek experience and I am I can't wait. I can't wait to get more. So now we're going back in with the same deep cocoa shade on the other Morphe brush that I was using. Well, the same one. Um, it's the B81. And I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer V, but then drag whatever color I have left towards the inner corner. the shade Rosewood and that's going to be on the same Morphe B81 blending brush and I just wanted to add a little bit more color because it was looking a little too bland in the crease so I just wanted to add a little pop and so we're going to go in with that shade and just kind of blend it into the crease. It looks super intense in the pan but it takes a lot of color to really get to that point on your eyelid so if you start sheer you can build it up to however you want and I just thought it was going to be a nice way to round out the look. And then we're going to take the color Sassy and we're going to do the same thing pretty much. I just wanted to add a little bit more purple because then I thought it was going to just help blend out those colors and add a little bit more dimension. And now I'm taking the same Glycolic Fix Pad and I'm just going to clean up any fallout because there was kind of a lot and it was kind of starting to look like a bruisey mess in the crease or in the outer V. So I just wanted to clean that up and sharpen up those edges. seal those dark circles so I'm going to use a cosmetic CC plus eye cream concealer and I don't know how much I've told you guys about this I know I did a video on it but I really love this concealer so much it just really helps to like really conceal without feeling too heavy or cakey and it also adds a really nice radiance under my eyes when I blend it all out it's just gorgeous and that is the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Magic Eraser Brush. And I'm just going to blend that all out. And then I'm going to set it with the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Compact. Just because it is creamy so I don't want it to start creasing. So just a little bit of powder won't hurt and it'll help everything out. And before I go in with my foundation today, I'm using the new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. And... I'm just basically taking out away any of my imperfections, like all of the just dark spots and stuff like that that you don't want to show through. And I'm going to do that first today because I feel like the serum really helps to, like it, it's just more effective when it's soaking into your skin rather than on top of your foundation. So I think in the long run you're gonna see more long-term results doing it this way. So that's what I decided to do. And then after this, I'm actually going to powder this all down. And I saw different videos, like Wayne Goss has one, where if you basically powder your face before you go in with foundation, it's gonna help your foundation and your whole look to last longer. And it's also gonna help keep your oils at bay. So that's why I'm doing this, and I thought it would be a nice little tip just to throw in if you're trying to have a nice night out without looking all crusty and crumbly <laughs> halfway through it. Now time for the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And you guys know how much I love this. And I'm just gonna blend that out with the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And since I've been doing my concealer beforehand, I've noticed that I've been able to get away with using a lot less makeup, like about half like of what I was using before, which is crazy. And it's just nice because the more makeup you put on, the more you have to worry about how it's looking or what is happening to your face throughout the day. So having less makeup really just gives you that ease of mind and it just helps you enjoy your night. 
and I'm going back in with the Bare Skin Concealer just to highlight and I really love the radiance that this concealer gives once it's all blended out. It really makes you look like you're glowing from within. Blend that out with the same flat top kabuki brush. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this concealer because I definitely will and I'll give you more details about it. Um, I was planning on doing one anyways, but if you guys let me know that you want to see it, then I'll bump it up. <laughs> and now I'm just going to set everything with the It Cosmetics by My Pores. I love this powder. I've hit pan on it and usually I'm the type where I want to get something new, but this powder, like, I'm in love and I will definitely be going back and repurchasing it. And I'm just going to use the Buxom Mascara in Black is Black and have a little dance party while that dries. And I'm going to go back into the Naked Palette and grab the shade Buck on a pencil brush, which is the Morphe B18. And I'm just going to take that along the lower lash line. With a small angled brush, I'm going to dip that into the color Secretive from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Favorites palette, and I'm just going to really press that up right against my lashes. take that same angled brush and use the color Sassy and kind of concentrate that on the inner corner and just blend it out. And then I'm taking the same color Sassy on the same pencil brush that I was using earlier and I'm just going to kind of use that to blend out all the darker colors. I just felt like it needed a little bit extra pop and I thought that that was perfect. And contour time! So I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with the Morphe MB30 Contour Brush and I'm just going to really try to chisel out my cheekbones and what I love blending with this brush because it makes it really easy to just blend upwards and that's the last thing you want to do with your bronzer is to blend down because then it's just going to look like you have a 5 o'clock shadow and that's not cute at all. So make sure when you're blending your bronzer to blend upwards. It'll give your face a nice little lift and it'll be nice and bronze. Now time for blush. So I'm using the Buxom blush in the shade Levitate on the Morphe M435 blush brush. So it is time to highlight one of my favorite parts and I am using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight in 01 on my Morphe M497 fan brush. I'm just gonna obviously put that on the tops of my cheeks but also make that nice little duck face and put that on my cupid's bow and down my nose. Now going back to the Naked palette and I'm taking the same Morphe pencil brush as earlier and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and hit that inner corner with some brightness. Lashes, and I'm going to use the Ardell Glamour Lashes in the style Demi 120 and I just really like to roll them out like that so they're not so stiff and it really helps to help them conform to your eye shape and to keep them round instead of straight. Your eyes are round. <laughs> and so I'm just going to put those lashes on. Now 
And so now tightlining my lower lash line with the Sephora Retractable Eyeliner in the shade 01 Matte Black. And of course, can't forget about the lips and this shade is absolutely gorgeous. And it is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Recusion. And it is just the perfect rose pink color and I cannot get enough. I showed you guys this in my mall haul and it is getting down to the nitty gritty. That's how much I love it. And now spraying my face with some MAC Fix Plus. And now I'm going to lock that in with the L'Oreal Pro Spray and Set Setting Spray. And this is the final look. you guys had fun getting ready with me I definitely had a fun time filming this for you guys and like I said earlier make sure to thumbs this up if you want more tutorials in the future and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next Monday bye